Hey everyone, Derpy here, back with another Battle Pirates video, and this one is my How to Kill Skirmish Targets, a preview of the October Raid and the content that is going to be in the October Raid. This is based off the videos Kicksize put out on their channel, as well as the VXP Weekend Preview. This is not based off of any preview server access, because I, unlike other players, do not have that. So, I'm just going to be going over what effective skirmish ships are. So, skirmish ships are going to be generally having explosive or concussive resists and deal concussive damage. I've listed some up on the screen here. You can see uh, top to bottom, left to right, there is the Bat Ray, there is the Fang Tooth, there is the Tide Seeker, there is the Razor Tail, there is the Hunter, and they, there are the Hell Wraith. Now, these ships are skirmish ships and will likely be effective at least to some degree in the following raid. It is not clear which is going to be better, the Hunter or the Fang Tooth, which is going to be better, the Tide Seeker or the Hell Wraith. I do have a video up and I'm going to be posting it tomorrow based on the Bat Ray and the Razor Tail. So if you have questions on those, I'll try to link that video in the description and you can go look at it. But these are effective skirmish ships that you're going to want to use in the raid, and flagships for the ships will help out tremendously and be tremendously effective. Now that we know what good ships are, let's just go over some good ship design in general. Things on the left are defense items that you're going to want to have in, either inherent in your ships or add on with a special. Explosive or concussive defense, those are great. Maneuverability, speed and turn speed. Ship deflection against enemy ships. Anti-mortars to shoot down all those projectiles. Splash defection or splash damage, excuse me, reduction. Splash damage reduction helps out a ton in these targets if that is possible and if you are going to be taking splash damage. And if you have a submarine, cloak time and efficiency will help out a ton. And based off stats, unreactive should help out a lot in these targets also. On offense, you want to deal concussive damage and concussive reload and have a lot of rank on your ships. Having range will help because you can hit enemies from further away, and splash will also help to kill more things at once. Critical hits will help out a ton, we've seen that on the hunter and on the new ship, and also sonar and thermal will help detect enemy subs. That's just overall good ship design you want to have in the, with these. And this targets page is just my preemptive, what I'm guessing will happen, not based off anything. If you go read the form briefing, which will be out a couple days before the raid, it might be different. But I'm going to predict, this is prediction, this is all subject to change, it's only based off my experience in this last game for the last 7 years. I'm predicting tier 5 will have 1 target, maybe 3 targets that use Tide Seekers in. Predicting tier 6 will have 3 plus a Blitz target that Hunters or Fang Tooths, one of those will be effective in. Predicting tier 7 will have 3 targets with a fourth blitz that you're going to be able to use your pro tide seekers if they're high ranked or medium bat ray or medium razor tails finally the tier eight there's going to be two targets one will be 100 one will be 102 i don't know which is which which is why i have the x on here one will be good with bat rays and one will be good with razor tails and they're both going to be doable with the other fleet based on what kicks has told us and if you want more inf information on these last two i have the video in the description about the bat ray versus the razor tail so those are the targets that I think are going to be happening in the next raid. This is just a quick preview of the next raid targets. Next, I'm going to be going over the various enemy ships in these targets and how you can kill them. Coming up at number one is the Battleship NPC. This is basically just a random enemy hole that's just there in the target to have an extra thing to shoot at. You, it's really weak, you don't have to deal with this at all. Next up is the Hunter MK1 and the flagship, the Apex Hunter. And these are going to be the medium to lower ships in these targets and they're going to be shooting at you and dealing some damage. If they get to have a whole bunch of them shooting you at once, you get overwhelmed, that could be an issue. If you want, if you can try to outrange them and kite them, that will help out a lot here. And I will note that the flagships will be stronger than the regular ships, as you would expect. Next up is an old ship that's returning in here, which is the Proto Nemesis. And the Proto Nemesis will be able to shoot a high damage, high damage mortars at you, similar to the Gluttonies. But these ones have a chance to leave ice cryofields in the water, which will stay there for a long time. And the mortars it shoots can be shot down by countermeasures if you have enough of them and you can drive well on your fleet. So if you want to try to dodge these, it's going to be tough. Um, so just be careful about that. But with skill, you will be able to dodge these around. You can also have a various specials on here, like shield attack tool system that will reduce the effectivity, that will reduce how well the cryo field work. Anyway, once the ship shoots, it has a very long reload time, so once it shoots once and you dodge it, you can go in and try to kill it. And I will note that the information we've been given is that once the cryo fields disappear, it's about ready to shoot again, so that's a special tip you can use here. 
Next up past these is the interdictor and the command interdictor. And these are hard difficulty, once again, and they fire special torpedoes called smart torpedoes. And these torpedoes will go in at very long range, and they will leave, they will do damage to you, but not a whole ton. But the main thing is a cryo field. They'll put an ice field around your ship once they hit it. This can be really dangerous if you're being overwhelmed by a bunch of other ships. So the regular interdictor just fires a smart torpedo. The command interdictor, because Kickside hates us, will fire a heavy smart torpedo. These ones are much stronger and do more damage and leave the same regular cryo field as the one before. Anyway, these are much rarer in these targets, so they won't be that tough. And to countermeasure, to uh, mitigate this damage, you can use bat rays, which will destroy the incoming smart torpedoes if you kite them and run away from them. And also, if you time your strike and hit at the right time, you won't get as much damage and you won't have any ice fields left over to hurt you if all the ships around you are dead. And once again, there are long reload times, so you'll be able to try to optimize your playstyle that way. And if you can kill these early in the fight, it can really kind of help you out a lot in here. So if you can focus these ahead of any other, if any other Apex Hunters, if you can avoid triggering them in the target for whatever reason. Next up on hard difficulty is similar to the, it's it's the equally hard difficulty, it's the Reaper and the Command Reaper. Basically, these will go out and they're submarines, and they're really old ones, but these are going to be much more durable and better than the ones that we have as players. So these are resistant to cap fields and it takes a while for them to surface, like if you're using the new Razor Tail, you're going to have to have multiple of these to surface these out of here. And the Command Reaper, once again, is going to be harder to surface than the regular one. And once you can force these to the surface, you're going to take, you're going to be able to kill the thing much faster and take much less damage from it because it's going to move a lot more slowly. If you have the bat rays, these will be your hardest threat. And similarly, if you have the only the razor tails, the interdictors are going to be your hardest threat. So you can try to kite the interdictor if you can. So those are the, just the basic overview of the targets of the ships that are going to be in the targets in the next raid cycle. I have other videos breaking down everything. I'm going to try to post more on my channel, so please go subscribe to my channel. Just search Derpy the Cow on YouTube or click the subscribe button on YouTube now. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like, and if you think it will help someone out, make sure to share that with them, share it on your alliance pages. And as always, this is Derpy signing out, helping you be a better pirate.